Hey there fellow phrase users, Tony Gavin here from ROI Media. Um, I just thought that I'd make a quick video about how I personally use phrase to um, create content briefs in a, a very fast, down and dirty kind of manner. Um, you might not want to use phrase in this particular manner. The tool does a hell of a lot more than what I'm going to go into today, but uh, this will give you a little bit of an idea. Okay, first of all you need to um, input some keywords around the topic or ask a question. Uh, in this case, I've got a question in mind, what is content marketing? So I'm going to search for that, and you'll see that Fraser's has now delivered to me 60 uh, different answers to that question, or 60 different questions. So we can go through and look at all those. I could, I could go and check them all out if I wanted to. I could start a document off the back of them. But in my case, I actually would like to know what the um, keyword search volume is around these questions so, I can, so that I can see uh, how many people might be searching for it. So I'll click on Excel. It's just downloaded the file, which I'll now open. Only interested in keywords. <coughs> so I'm going to copy those. Um, at the moment, unfortunately, Froze doesn't have an inbuilt keyword research tool. That's not a problem. There's many, many, many good keyword research tools on the market. My personal favorite for browser use is just Keywords Everywhere. It's a browser-based extension. Uh, I'm looking for the um, global search volume around that, so I'm just going to import the keywords. Paste in the keywords that I've just copied. I'm going to get rid of that queue out there because obviously I don't want to pay for the cost of that. And I'm going to get the metrics. All right, because I'm interested in search volume, I'll click this column. And you can see that, um, as it turns out, the, the question that I've put in there, what is content marketing, actually has the greatest search volume of 12,100 searches per month globally. Um, then we've got, you know, what is marketing, what is traditional marketing, etc. Uh, those ones are probably of a bit of interest to me. I personally probably wouldn't go and try and optimize an article with a, a search volume below 1,000 a month. So those first three, they're of particular interest to me. So I'm just going to run with this particular question. What is content marketing? Now I could go back in here and I could go to um, uh, the concept map and uh, I could do all sorts of things, but I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to go straight into creating a new document because I want to brief a copywriter. So I'll put my search query in there again. What is content marketing? I've got some choices to make now, part of the workflow. Um, we can create new content or uh, top Google results or I can import content to optimize it by dropping in a URL. I want to create new content, pull stuff off the web. You can save this to a particular folder if you want. I'm just going to use general. And let's see what happens. Okay, Fraser's is now out searching the web, trying to find all sorts of interesting stuff for us. It's all related to the question that I just asked about what is content marketing. So we just need for Fraser to um, finish doing its work, which would take you hours to do, by the way. Okay, you can see here that um, we've now got 17 sources here. Uh, we've got various summaries, we've got topics, we've got questions, we've got links. We've got, uh, interesting, one of my sites is on there. Stats. Okay, news. There's all sorts of potential stuff that you can go into here. Uh, and actually include it as part of your brief. But I'm just going to go back to the, um, the brief itself. All right, because I want to keep it simple, uh, I'm probably just going to paste the brief. But however, you could go in here, you could go through all of this stuff uh, simply by clicking on it. You can move all this stuff over into your content brief. But I'm just going to paste the brief into here, get basically all of that stuff there. Let's do it. Okay, I now have this brief which is prepared for a copywriter okay ready and rearing to go now because I'm being a bit lazy here and as I said this is the down and dirty kind of version of it what I'll probably do is I would I would normally just go through those one by one and have a quick look at the summaries of what those things have got okay uh, so we've got one here from Neil Patel okay that all looks good content marketing from Wikipedia I'd always leave the Wikipedia one there I want this content marketing really marketing insider group. Okay, I'm looking at all those sources. Copyblogger.com, you know, .com, HubSpot, you know, Copyblogger again. Okay, those are those are all you know good kind of sources of um, potential content. And as it turns out on this particular occasion, 
all of this stuff appears to be relevant. Now I can promise you that you're going to get irrelevant stuff in here too when you go and search. So what you need to do in that case is I might decide for example that, uh, okay I'm just going to pick one at random, what is content marketing, I'm going to choose this copy blogger article and I'm going to go and have a, have a look at that, oops, didn't really want it to pipe in a new browser but it has. Okay, here's this this article here. Okay, I can I can go through and read the whole thing, or I can scan it, or whatever I want to do. Okay, in this case, for my purposes, I'm going to make a decision that this is not relevant. I know that it actually is, but I'm going to pretend that this particular one is not relevant for the purposes of briefing my copywriter on this. So I'm going to delete this entirely. Gone. Okay, I then go through, continue that process of deleting or whatever I want to <clears throat> on the way through. I can delete any of this stuff. I can add more. Okay, in this case now I'm going to decide, okay, I actually want to um, invite the copywriter and tell them, uh, feel free to add more sources. Okay, so they've got that message from me. I can put in there whatever I want, okay. Uh, in my case, sometimes I will um, take stuff out of a template that I've got prepared in a text file to um, add additional information in there of a, a very generic nature uh, that I might want for the copywriter and tell them more specific stuff about the brief if that's in fact what I want to do. In this case, uh, it's a down and dirty thing. Maybe I'm using this for you know, uh, first tier backlinking or something like that to create primary articles before they're spun. Uh, so I'm now going to um, finish that up create paste of the brief. So what I'll do now is export it. Okay, in this case you can choose Microsoft Word or you know whatever you want. I am just going to use PDF. Okay, it takes a while. You can see that the document's all there, all looking good. Okay, we're going to save that. Okay, I'm just going to save that to my desktop and I'm going to call it copy brief. Save that. Okay, I now have that copy brief sitting on my desktop ready for distribution to my copywriter. That has saved me so many hours of work I just couldn't begin to describe in putting all that together. Okay, and it's all relevant. Now, in the real world, I'd spend a bit more time on this because I'd want to go through and I'd write this stuff and I would actually see, you know, whether or not it's relevant or whatever. It depends on, you know, what kind of level of copy you want. Is it going to be primary copy that's going on to you know your website, uh, or is it um, you know copy for you know a set of first tier backlinks uh, that you're probably going to put into a spinner, and um, you know have somebody hand spin the content because it's a first tier backlink or whatever it might happen to be. It's going to get down to your purpose, but this is just such a fantastic way to brief copywriters. It just saves a ton of time. Thanks for watching.